Hi, welcome to another episode of Pagical Mini Tutorials. This time, I'd like to introduce you to the Smart List feature, new in Pagical 9.5. Basically, Smart Lists are search results that can be embedded right in your projects and contacts. You define the criteria, and Smart Lists will present the matching items. It's a simple feature that can be tremendously helpful to optimizing your workflow. In general, the Smart List feature can help in four different ways. Let's dive right in. To do this, first create a Smart List. Then set the type to List Items and set categories or tags. Also, if you wish to see pending items only, be sure to add the is completed criteria and set its value to no. Please note that the search engine uses the AND logic, so only items matching all criteria will be included. The matching items will be sorted from new to old by modify time. To reduce visual clutter, it is recommended that you set a reasonable results limit so that only the latest items are shown. Similarly, you can also create smart lists to show documents or notes carrying specific categories or tags. To do this, just set the type criteria to files. How about adding a cutoff date so that only the most recent items are shown? That's easy. Just set a last edited date criteria and set the parameters to within the last seven days. The Smart List feature can also be used to create a custom view featuring data you need the most to optimize your workflow. For instance, here's a project that has several Smart Lists that show the content that I want to see across all our company projects. This keeps all the important things accessible. So if you or your team constantly handles multiple projects, it may be beneficial to create a dashboard like this to support your workflow. If you have a project that involves multiple contacts matching a specific category or tag, you can create a smart list to show all these related contacts right from your project. To do this, just set the type criteria to contact and set the category or tags. Sometimes, you or your team may have some common objects, such as policies and materials that are applicable to many projects. You can simply tag or categorize these common objects, then create a smart list to show them in your projects. This could be particularly helpful if you use project templates, where each of the cloned project will have a smart list showing the common objects without duplicating them. This concludes the short tutorial on the new smart list feature. Thank you for watching.